Hey everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D Print Creator and in this video we are going to talk about the Creality CR10 Mini. This is the smaller version of the CR10 and well it's the only version that fits on my desk so therefore I'm very happy to have the CR10 Mini and not the bigger one. This printer is sent to me by GearBest. They provided me with this printer and if you want to know how I handle these kinds of gifts uh, to the channel to review then please watch the video up here because it's all about how I handle this and what I do with the money that I receive from uh, affiliate links for example. So there you know that my reviews are really honest reviews and that what I tell you is really my opinion and is not because I'm getting paid or I'm getting a printer for free or that kind of things. Now with that said, I received this printer and it came in three parts. It came with a, a controller unit, it came with a lower part and an upper part. And you have to connect them together and it take, I think it took about 15 minutes or so to, to assemble the printer together and to connect the wires and then it took another maybe 10 minutes to level the bed and uh, yeah after this was all done uh, the printer was ready to print then you have a printer that has a 30 by 20 centimeters build plate it's a little bit more but this is an estimate and also a 30 centimeter height so you can create pretty big things but it's not as big as the full grown Creality CR10. If you want to have a printer like that uh, it's only $30 uh, dollars more and well it's a great printer but this one has a few advantages. Not only is this printer smaller but also they have the, the, the latest upgrades done for this printer. So there are no 3D printed parts anymore. The parts that they are using now are uh, real aluminum parts or injection molded parts and there are no 3D printed parts anymore on this printer which makes it very rigid and very stable. Also the printer is pretty quick, uh, it can handle a normal printing speed of 65 millimeters a second and it does a great job with that. The printer comes with a glass bed and uh, you can print directly on the glass bed if you would like to. Then you have to use some glue for example. Or you can print on uh, well painter's tape, that's what I use and it really works very well. The bed is extremely flat because of this glass bed and well you just know that every print will stick to it like a charm if you leveled your printer correct. Now I've made some prints with it. Uh, for example this owl which I found on Thingiverse and which gave a great result it really it's, it's a very nice print of course I printed the Benchy and at this moment there is a second Benchy printing um, and also this Benchy well I never saw a Benchy this great coming out of a printer and uh, I think that this Benchy will even be better because I tuned my Simplify 3D profile a little bit after I made this one. Um, I've been printing my battery holder that I have here. Uh, I use a lot of those these days uh, because I use them for my electronic projects and I can use my old batteries for my camera and bring them in, stick them in and well use it as a power source. And if you want a holder like that it's, it's very easy. Uh, you can print them yourself and you can find them on my Thingiverse page which is in the description box right here. Now there is also something else on my Thingiverse page and that's a kind of torture test for your printer. And I've been testing on a few printers right now and uh, this is really the first printer that gave a perfect result of this torture test. At first I was thinking that this test wasn't good because I had no good results. This is the result from the uh, Fabricator Mini and it's no good, uh, I'll show you guys later why. This is the result from uh, the E10 from Anet and also it's not so good but this one really came out great. The trick of this torture test is that you don't so, uh, resize it. You have, you have to print it in the size it is. 
Then uh, it's my 3D print creator logo, which I have on my channel, which I have on my uh, Twitter account, that kind of things. But uh, in real, it's a nozzle. So this thing is my 3D print creator logo. And just like a real nozzle, it has all those cooling rips here, which are really hard to print. And you have to use support for it, but then you have to use support on the correct way. And you have to make your slicer settings really perfect if you want to be able to remove the supports from your print. Now also, because this is a nozzle, I here have a needle of 0.4 millimeters in diameter, a diameter, and my nozzle of course is hollow, so yeah, I can stick in this tool because it's a hollow nozzle with a hole of 0.4 millimeters. So this is a great torture test and it's also on my Thingiverse page where you can download it to test your own printer. Now, so far for this short preview, it's not really a review, on the Creality CR10 Mini, which I think is a great printer, <coughs> excuse me, um, I really love this printer because it, it gives great results. Uh, I didn't have any problems with it so far. And uh, I think it, it's really, well, you've seen the other reviews of, of other people, but it's, it's all true what they're saying. It's really a very, very good printer. Uh, it's priced, well, it's a, it's, it's a smaller printer than the normal CR10, but it's almost the same price. There is only a $30 price gap between those two. And uh, I would have expected this printer to be cheaper, but there is a code that you can use. And uh, it's in the description as well. And then you get a little bit off of your printer. <coughs> and um, yeah, it's a great machine. I'm going to further test it. I'm going to use other filaments in it. I'm going to try what happens when you use ABS in it and PATG and that kind of things. Because I want to know if it's really that good. But that will be in a yeah an another video which I'm going to make. If you um, like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the channel, then consider subscribing to it. If you do, please don't forget to hit that bell button, otherwise you won't be notified every time I make a new video. If you want to support this channel financially, then you can find the links to Patreon in the description down below. If you have a question, leave a comment under this video on YouTube. You can also visit my website at 3 d Thanks for watching.